Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and today we have some Call of Duty Black Ops 3 playing a bit of Domination here on the Map Aquarium, running around with the Pharaoh Submachine Gun, which may actually be the best SMG here in Black Ops 3, but before we talk about that, let's talk about the fact that it's me versus three people here at B, because all my teammates got greedy and went to A, I kill the guy off the stairs, my nade blows up there on the B fly, I get the other guy on the stairs, end up picking up all three of them as my teammates come in here for the free capture, thanks a lot guys, thanks for the help, <laughs> usually I have help when I go to B, but for whatever reason everybody on my team went to A and it's like, okay, so I'll be the one to clear out B and make it easy for everybody else, but between me and the Pharaoh, it was actually kind of easy, and that's going to be the topic of today's video, is going to be the Pharaoh submachine gun, and why it may actually be the best SMG here in Black Ops 3. So as I'm sure some of you guys are well aware, I love the CUDA, right? The CUDA is my favorite gun in Black Ops 3. It's a weapon that I have the most kills with. It's the weapon that I got the gold uh, above everything else. Like, I got some shotguns gold, but it's like the first non-shotgun I got up the gold camo. It's just, it's my favorite weapon. I use it a ton, and as a result, since I was using it so much during the initial launch week, of Black Ops 3, I didn't really give a lot of the other SMGs a chance, including the Pharaoh. So I think like most people, I just wrote off the Pharaoh right away. I'm like, it's a burst SMG. How good could that really be? You know, if it's anything like the Chicom C could be from Black Ops 2, I'm probably not going to like it. Turns out I love it. Turns out it's one of the most powerful SMGs here in the game. So what we have here is an auto burst SMG in that unlike most burst weapons in Call of Duty history, you could just hold down the trigger once and it will continuously fire bursts until you let go of the trigger. So that's kind of fun. It's kind of similar to the XR2 assault rifle, but an SMG form it shoots four rounds in every single burst and here's the fun bit it could kill in three bullets so it shoots a four round burst but up close like super up close it can kill in three bullets so one burst can kill people i'm gonna be heading up here to the c flag right quick and you guys are gonna be seeing how ridiculously quickly you can kill people the time to kill here on the pharaoh is insane so i'm gonna come up here to the c flag there's gonna be three people up here i'm gonna take out this guy by hit firing this guy by adsing and this guy by adsing it just it was so easy going in there just boom 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 the pharaoh just melts people ridiculously quickly every weapon in black ops 3 seems to have its own rule right every weapon in black ops Three seems to try to fit its own niche and I'm yet to figure out what the niche for the Pharaoh is because it's good at everything. It doesn't have a niche. It's niche is it's good at everything, I suppose, because it melts people at close range in less than one burst. Medium range, it's very powerful. And long range, you have all the accuracy of a burst weapon, whereas other SMGs, like the CUDA, like the VMP, like you're dealing with the full auto, you're dealing with recoil and whatnot. This weapon doesn't have a lot of recoil. It melts people at medium and long ranges, as well as close ranges. Like, it just seems to be good at everything. And as a result, I'm led to believe that this is probably the best SMG in Black Ops 3 right now. It just seems to be so ridiculously good at everything, yet a lot of people don't even give it a chance because it's a burst SMG. Like, they may die to it and think, how did I die today? It's a burst SMG. Like, what's this? I don't understand. But if you actually try out the Pharaoh, which I think you unlock it at level 31, somewhere around there, try out the weapon. I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. If you're an SMG player that likes to rush, I don't think that there's a better weapon to rush with. Like, shotguns in this game, you could say, are better to rush with, but they're so inconsistent with the, the hit markers and things like that because, you know, I know especially because I've gotten the Argus and the KRM up to the gold already, and just those weapons seem so inconsistent, whereas rushing with an SMG here like the Pharaoh, you're just melting people left and right. It's so ridiculously powerful. If you're looking for recommendations for attachments, I personally prefer Optic Sights. Now, whatever Optic you want to run, it's completely up to you. Red Dot Sight or ELO or wherever it is you want to run. I recommend that. I recommend the foregrip, and I recommend using the Laser Sight to allow you to hip fire because the hip fire on a burst SMG is actually pretty good, and throwing on a Laser Sight on there actually makes it a little bit better and just makes it so you can try and get more clean burst in the people and just as a result melt people even faster so it's pretty good i would recommend using the pharaoh submachine gun if you guys haven't tried it already it is by far one of the best smgs here in black ops 3 if not the best smg here in black ops 3 and yet a lot of people haven't even given it a chance because it has that stigma it has that stigma of it's a burst smg and people are reminded of the chicom cqb and they think to themselves like eh, it's gonna be a mediocre weapon why would i want a burst smg smgs aren't supposed to be bursty they're supposed to be full auto spray and pray close quarters Guys, I'm telling you, try out this weapon. I think you guys will be pleasantly surprised. I, it does have the highest damage output of all the SMGs here in Black Ops 3. It melts people close, medium, and long ranges. And just overall, it is one of the best weapons of Black Ops 3. While at the same time, it's one of the most underused ones I see in public matches. Like, I'm sure in competitive play and maybe search and destroy and stuff like that, you'll see people using the Feral kind of often. But in, like, your standard domination, 
ground war kill confirmed i never see people using the pharaoh and those are the game modes i always play and i think it's because again it has that stigma of being a burst smg and people just don't even give it a chance try out the pharaoh you guys are gonna love it i promise you if you love close quarters combat if you love rushing with a submachine gun this is gonna be the weapon for you give it a try and let me know what you guys think about it i hope you guys all enjoyed this video hopefully you guys all found it helpful and informative if you did drop me a like rating it helps the video grow helps my channel grow as well and of course i would love to know in the comment section below your guys opinion on the pharaoh and whether or not you believe it to be the best smg here in call of duty black ops 3 again i know a lot of people at the higher end of call of duty that play a lot and a lot of people that like uh, play competitive and stuff like that we all kind of really realize that the pharaoh is ridiculously good but to the general call of duty populace i don't think that they realize how good the pharaoh really is let me know in the comments what you guys think about it i hope you guys all enjoyed the video remember to leave a rating and i hope you guys all have a wonderful day